for massive results. So much work goes into that behind the scenes. Like, holy crap, it's becoming reality. So this is my equity curve. Just this week, that was absolutely on fire. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm actually gonna be doing a series on becoming FTMO funded. My whole process of withdrawal, my thought process, even how I failed my first ever challenge. So before we get into it, I actually wanna make a quick disclaimer that this is just my process, my journey, how I went about it. Please do not jump into the FTMO challenge if you are not hitting consistency. Please don't just jump into it thinking that you're just gonna wing it. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. So we're gonna just jump into my laptop screen and if you wanna have a look for yourself then I put a link to FTMO down in the description. Here are the objectives and this is, this is the part that's really important. For me, I did US dollar, normal and capital 100,000. So for the first step, FTMO challenge, you have 30 days to make a profit target of 10%. So for step two, you have double the trading period. So you have 60 days, that includes weekends and your profit target is halved. You can have a look at the sort of brokers that they provide. For me, I went with the standard FTMO LMAX. Oh, and of course, the most important thing I wanted to point out is that we will receive 70% of the profits. So another good thing to look into is the FAQs, the frequently asked questions, and basically just read the entire thing. Again, link in the description, have a flick through and see it for yourself. Hey guys, it is currently Sunday the 12th of April. Yeah, this is really just the start of the next step. I'm currently signing up for 100K funding. So yeah, I've chosen FTMO platform, account type of the LMAX data feed, leverage one to 100, and then trading platform is MetaTrader 4. Um, so I'm literally just about to pay. I've just never felt this confident. I'm probably going to talk about it in another video. I mean, at another time. Right now, I just really want to document um sort of really the first step so i've just passed the first stage of the uh, ftmo funding for 100k um to get that six figures currently thursday 21st of may just passed um first ftmo ended up on 10,278 so that is the stats and uh yeah today's thursday the 20 Thursday the 21st of May, I placed my first trade last Wednesday, so it's been about um, seven, uh, eight, eight trading days now. Obviously, first thoughts are like, this is like, holy crap, like, you know, it's, it's becoming a reality. No one really knows what's actually happening, obviously, family, parents don't know, like, what I'm doing. I haven't really documented this one, I haven't really been on social, just because this is a period where I'm really transitioning to that next level, and... Um, I just want to be a bit more quiet about it and I'll obviously share the story um, in the future. Like I didn't pass the first time round because I was an idiot and I didn't really understand the rules. I literally thought I had two weeks left, um, but then it completely like it just cut, cut off my account. So I know I mentioned that I failed the first challenge. I will be going over that in another video, not this one. This one's just when I did pass that challenge. But yeah, I, I failed the first one and I'm going to go into that in more depth in a later video. So guys, when you start your challenge, you enter this sort of client um, portal sort of thing. And this is for my first challenge. And that started on the 13th of May. This is my equity curve, sort of pretty standard. Then we hit the profit target and then we had to place small lot sizes just to pass the minimum trading day threshold. So as you can see, these are my objectives. Um, my max daily loss was minus $351. Max loss overall was minus $286 and I ended at 10.2%. Now these are the stats. Um, with this, these are skewed because again, I was placing these little lots just to, to get me over the, the minimum trading day threshold. So this is my trading journal. Feel free to have a look if you want. Um, my first trade again was on the 13th of May, 0.4% and then I took a 1% loss with Euro Yen and then made a win with Euro Yen. So that's three trades. I believe it was the weekend. At this point, I didn't know that I could actually place crypto over the weekend. It didn't come to mind. Um, so yeah, you can see here on the 18th, um, on the 18th and the 20th, I placed these smaller trades. So essentially 
I was at this point I was up at about two percent I want to say around two percent um, and then these two trades pretty much just took me to the 10 percent mark and that was on the 21st so I opened on the 13th and then I passed on the 21st so that was about seven seven eight days so here you can see further stats um, seven in the morning eight in the morning profitable um, took mostly the buy was profitable at night 9.786 and then again it was euro dollar that made me the most amount 9196 then euro yen then kiwi cad um so yeah that's pretty much the stats of my challenge and then it was quite weird because i felt great i was like oh i'm gonna celebrate but then my mind automatically shifted to like okay i need to start preparing for the five to hitting the 5% verification. But um, yeah, no, I was I was really happy with myself, but I think that was very short lived because then I went into the next step and I, I went into focusing on smashing out that verification. What is up guys, so it's currently Sunday 24th of May. This week has been crazy. Um, I think I'll do a quick update on my 2020 goals, which is to acquire, you know, 300K, scaling my account to 300K is the first goal and that is really the big one domino effect i feel like i've been saying this the whole time right now i'm kind of having quiet times just um focusing on you know getting this down and like scaling like at a pivotal point you don't need distractions you don't need the noise from now until six figures acquiring like 300k need to like really double down i'm gonna keep quiet i'm gonna keep this to myself and i'm just gonna celebrate in silence hopefully i'll have um sort of adjusted to the to the conditions uh, where I'll be a bit a little bit more comfortable to actually just share it and be completely transparent, completely open. Um, but again, it's also a bit of protection for my own like mindset, my own mentality, my own sort of mental space. Um, because there's no point like saying you are this or you're doing this. Just go do it first, and that'll take care of itself. It, it's a lot to take in. It feels like a lot of pressure, but you know what you're doing it for. You know that there's a purpose. You know you have good intentions, and you're all good. So now for stage two hitting the verification where you know you gotta make five percent guys so it's currently thursday 28th of may and today i passed my verification for my first um for my first funding let's just check out these metrics so yeah it's currently been about four days so yeah i actually passed um, verification pretty quickly i think it was like four days something like that so i had about six days left of just placing little uh, micro lots and just waiting until the trading days pass so guys this was my verification which started on the 25th of may so this is my equity curve first trade took me on a small drawdown but then quickly hit that profit target so max daily loss minus 142 minus 142 for the max loss as well again these stats are skewed let's not look into that I took two euro dollar trades. One of them was a loss. The second one was a win. Now I wanted to point out here, I halved my risk and I was taking advice from people who had passed their FTMO, those who are a lot more knowledgeable than me. Um, so I halved my risk, hence why it was around 3.3%, sorry, 3.3 lots. I didn't really like how I was switching up my plan because of this verification. So I just literally after that, I went back on two 1% trades. So as you can see, I took one, two, three, four, five legit trades. The rest were just to get me past that threshold. And yeah, I passed this one really quickly, actually. I think it was, it was literally, is that three days? I passed it on the 28th. And then, yeah, so basically four trading days, around three days, um, four days inclusive. It was basically, it was pretty much EU that was on fire that week. So... This is quite interesting because for my challenge, 7 a.m. was profitable, but here it's it's 6 p.m., 5 p.m. Again, buy. And these are the instruments that I traded. Euro dollar got me to 4.69%. And yeah, guys, that's pretty much the stats. You can feel free to have a look around. What's up, guys? It's currently Friday, 29th of May, so it's pretty much the last sort of day of the month here in may uh and yeah it's about two hours till market close so i'd say i'm sort of done for the month of may in trading i ended the month on 
16.98%, so about 17% passed my FTMO challenge and FTMO verification. I've currently got two um, challenges running at the same time. And yeah, like I've just been, like this whole period's been very meditative, very reflective for me and just like focusing on this next stage, this next level. I'm also sort of looking at places to sort of uh, rent, move out. Um, I think this, that is a, really a step for me when I do receive this funding and um, yeah, just be able to um, allow myself for more room to grow. You guys hear me say this a lot, like I have to be selfish short term to be selfless long term. Um, again, like a big philosophy and big believer that you've got to fill yourself up first before you can start pouring into other people. I've got a lot of big goals this year and uh, yeah, I've just ticked off a massive goal. Very grateful, feel very blessed. Um, yeah, just a lot of things are, you know, starting to fall into place. And um, I just want to take it all in because for me, I've just been, I feel like I've just been grafting, just putting the work in. Like, no one knows how much us traders go through. Like, we, we, like, I mean, it's just, it goes with everything. Like, before a massive success or before massive results, so much work goes into that behind the scenes. You know, I think of that iceberg analogy, like people only see what's above the surface, but underneath you don't see all the patience, the discipline, the countless hours, like literally blood, sweat and tears, just trying to get to um, to that next level of your life. How do I feel like getting that, like getting through the challenge? I don't know guys, it was, I don't know, I just feel like I was underestimating myself this whole time, but I don't know, it's just, I feel like a lot of limiting beliefs were just eradicated. Wednesday, 3rd of June. All my trading objectives have been passed. Then it was 4th of June, which is when I got, which is when I got the contract and this is what happened. It's currently Thursday, 4th of June, the afternoon. And sorry, I'm just trying to hide my details and yeah it says you know dear hannah congratulations on successfully passing the evaluation process we have verified your trading accounts excited to welcome you among our funded fcmo traders it's awesome guys it's a long time coming a uh, big achievement so yeah feeling very humble very grateful and uh just excited for that next step processing your contract agreement so yeah currently just waiting on that I'm about to become a funded FTMO trader. I can't actually remember how I celebrated when I signed the contract. Um, I think I did yoga um, because yeah, I was feeling this overwhelming sense of like, I don't know, like relief and gratitude that I really just wanted to lift it up to God. Like, I don't want to get all Jesus talk on you guys, but um, sometimes I just wonder like, where did that strength come from sometimes? So that's pretty much the journey that I went through. So some couple tips or things that I want to point out is that I stuck to 1% risk management throughout the whole thing. Apart from the couple of trades in the beginning of my verification stage, you will actually get another try for free of the challenge if you, if you um, finish over break even after the 30 days and just continue to backtest every single day. Like that is a no brainer, like that is minimum of what someone should do anyways. Like, you can't expect to pass. You're not putting in the hard work. Okay guys, I just really quickly wanted to run through the trades from EU that uh, really helped me pass the challenge and verification because it was just this week that was absolutely on fire. And um, these two trades, so this was at 6.28 and then I took that scale in at around 2.9. That helped me pass the challenge one which is here, this is this trade here, and uh, this trade here, so 2.9 and around 6.2%, um, that was these trades. Now, at this point, once once I, once I make the 10% or the 5%, I close it immediately. Manually close and secure that 10%, secure that 5%. There's actually been times where it's been, you know, playing around like maybe 9% then down goes down to 6% then it goes to like 9.5% and then it goes down to 8% it is a bit of a 
roller coaster when you're watching it but um yeah just try and catch it and uh, be ready for when it hits that 10% mark so that was the two trades that really helped me out with the challenge one um and then actually during this period I was still waiting for my verification so I took this on my personal account um and that didn't this trade didn't contribute to my verification but this ended up on 4.27 percent right so these two eu trades so this one was on the 25th 4.74 percent so here's my here's my uh, journal for my verification so eu 25th was around what was that 4.74 so here we see 2.3 and that is because I did that half percent thingy that I did. So yeah, that ended up actually on 2.3. And then here we have 2.55, and this was on the 27th of May. And I took a 1% risk, so this should be around 2,500. And yeah, 2.6 actually for this one. So yeah, pretty much uh, these two trades helped me pass verification and then the two trades over here helped me pass the challenge. Well, I hope you guys sort of enjoyed that little run through of exactly the process that I went through my thinking. Again, this is just what I did, sort of what I kind of suggest, but you've got to take it with a pinch of salt. Do what works for you, whatever floats your boat. It's not a one size fits all, so um, yeah. Also, make sure you're subscribed and you've got that bell notification turned on because the next few videos, I'm gonna talk about why I left my old community and um, going from 100 to 300, sort of the trade copier that I used. And I'm also gonna talk about withdrawal processes and I'll see you in the next one.